Alrighty then, let's get started and welcome uh, to another week of Kenji's Cocktail Kitchen. Uh, I'm Kenji, it's great to be back. Uh, I'm making a series of videos uh, to show you how to make great looking and great tasting cocktails at home. Uh, all brought to you by my good friend, at Mona. Not only do they uh, make amazing uh, syrups and purees, uh, but also Paragon, uh, which I'll talk about later. Got my Paragon uh, kit bag, which I wanna show you. Quite excited to be able to do that. I'm gonna make uh, four frozen cocktails this week. Gonna make the frozen margarita. Gonna be using uh, spicy mango. Uh, love the idea of the spices and the fresh mango flavors uh, really coming through in the margarita. Gonna be making a uh, pina colada. Uh, so we've got a uh, great uh, pineapple uh, puree, uh, an amazing Coco Lopez, the original uh, cream of coconut used in the pina colada, mixing that with some rum. Obviously blending all of these uh, with ice. I'm gonna be looking at a Frosé, a new cocktail uh, the last few years using frozen uh, rosé wine. Uh, why not? Let's get involved. Uh, the last drink, gonna make a frozen Paragon daiquiri. Uh, so daiquiri is one of my favorite drinks and I love the, the flavors of the Paragons, gonna mix that together. Uh, and there we go, so four frozen cocktails to enjoy uh, next time in the heat wave. Some of these ingredients uh, will last last you really well. So I was saying um, when we make the uh, pina colada, uh, we got these two as the, the main ingredients plus ice, which you can already have in the freezer and some rum, which hopefully you have. Uh, sitting around, obviously you can, you can switch around, try different uh, flavors of rum, see what you, you like best. Uh, now the Coco Lopez uh, comes in a can. This one runs the Jennifer Mont uh, April uh, 21, so we'll hang around. Uh, the puree, let's have a look. I know once you've opened it, uh, it will last uh, a month, but unopened, uh, March 21 uh, as well. So a month once you've opened it, and what's great this is protective sleeve, stops the, uh, the UV from the sun spoiling the fruit. So you can actually leave it out, it doesn't have to be refrigerated. Uh, so you can have both of those uh, sitting and waiting uh, to make the drinks. All right, so I uh, hope you're thirsty for some frozen cocktails. Let's get started. I think the first off is the margarita. Now I'm just gonna blend uh, all these drinks. Uh, so I've got a blender, I've got a load of uh, crushed ice, gonna have my, my glass. Now the margarita, um, it's, a, it's a classic in all, all of the cocktails. I mean, the classic recipe, the tequila, the triple sec and the lime was created in 1937, uh, but exactly 50 years later, uh, Julio uh, from Tommy's uh, restaurant, Mexican restaurant over in San Francisco in 1987, created the Tommy's margarita, where he switched out the triple sec uh, for the agave syrup. So I'm gonna make a, a twist on the Tommy's Margarita, twist once again, taking out the um, agave syrup and adding the spicy mango. So tequila, spicy mango and lime, ice, blend it all up, jobs are good. Okay, so we're gonna uh, play straight into the blender. Uh, ice is very important, obviously, uh, depending on the, the strength of your, your blender. If you've got an industrial strength, like in a, a restaurant or bar with big blades and really strong, then it'll crush ice well. If you don't, uh, then uh, crushing or boxing down some ice as small of the chunks as possible will allow the blades to really mix the ingredients and cut it all together. So I use two scoops uh, for each drink, one at the beginning. I want some of the dilution as I pour in the ingredients because the water will help the, uh, the blender and the overall flavor. Uh, and then adding another uh, crushed ice scoop at the end to really compact it, make sure it has the right consistency when it comes out into your glass. All right, so tequila. I'm gonna use uh, Don Julio Blanco. I'm gonna use the Blanco this time. And then the Tequila Sunrise, then use the Añejo, because I wanted a luxury uh, version. But when you're blending, uh, obviously you've got more ice, uh, it's colder, you want some uh, more of the, the flavors to come through. So I like the Blanco, uh, Blanco tequila to uh, really get the flavors in this margarita when you're, when you're doing a, a frozen version. So two parts. I'm using a jigger, or you can use um, an egg cup. I might carry on with the egg cup as well. I know not everyone has jiggers. So two parts uh, of the tequila. I'm gonna do one part of the spicy mango. So the spice comes from the serrano pepper. So you get those lovely, so half of that. 
and then half again, make it a total of one. So two parts of the rum, one part of Monin's spicy mango syrup, uh, and then one part fresh lime. So pre-squeeze some of my lime, just Love the aroma. One. Fresh lime. Okay. As you can see, some of the ice has melted. You get the lovely colours of the mango. Another scoop of ice. Got my glass ready. With crushed ice, you don't need to blend for too long. You get a lovely consistency. So we're going to garnish this off. Obviously you've got the chili mango. So if you like to Instagram your, your cocktails, I still got a fresh red chili. Cut it down for a bit of flash colour and you get those likes in your Instagram. So. There we have a frozen margarita, spicy mango, waiting for that heat wave. Better have a little sip. Mm. Oh. I'm a huge chili addict, so I love the, the chili little burn that you get. All right, number two, the pina colada. Pina colada means steamed pineapple. Uh, also a classic cocktail uh, in, in history, it came from Puerto Rico in the 1950s. I mean the pineapple and the coconut and just flavours and rum, obviously you just get those lovely bursts of flavours and holiday and beaches uh, and everything that uh, the, those flavours kind of conjure up. Uh, pineapple itself has always been um, a sign in the UK. When they first came uh, into the UK they were very expensive, so they were often uh, hired or uh, placed in the middle of a, a table as a sign of wealth, a sign of welcome, and look at what we're uh, uh, honoring you with, this, this pineapple. Uh, nowadays, uh, pineapple is a sign of hospitality. Uh, I love it, got a pineapple pin, a uh, pineapple bar spoon, just to get pineapple aprons. I think the, the bartenders really love that pineapple is a, a un, the unsign uh, of hospitality out there in the drinks industry. So, I'm gonna blend it up again. I'm gonna make two, a double version for two people. Um, but I'm just doubling, doubling this one up, so I'm going to sit in a nice pineapple uh, glass. So I'm going to have two scoops at the beginning. Really want to uh, rum. I'm using uh, as a cap of rum, big favourite of mine. So that uh, this is a, a double, as it was, so two parts and two parts because I'm making two of them. Gonna use the uh, pineapple puree. Remember these are 50% fruit and 50% sugar. So you get that balance of the sweetness as well as uh, fresh fruit flavors. So tasty. I just wanna dip my finger in. I don't think that would uh, look good on camera. If you're at home making these one yourself, have a taste of it. And then two parts each for the um, Coco Lopez uh, can cream of coconut. Uh, just remember this is slightly different from coconut cream and coconut milk. It was the original coconut flavor for the pina colada. So two parts, two parts. Now, not in the, the classic recipe, but uh, I think myself and a lot of people add a um, squeeze of lime to this, just to get the balance from the sweetness. And have two fresh squeezes with the oils, or you can pour in from the juice. All right. So we had two parts rum, two parts Monin pineapple puree, two parts of the Coco Lopez, two squeezes of lime, four scoops of ice. Mm. 
Once again, you don't need a really long blend if you've got crushed ice or you, you manage to get smaller ice cubes. Pouring it in my double serve. Uh, uh, so I got double straws to enjoy that. And obviously if you're into garnishing with umbrellas and cherries, be my guest. Nice show, uh, classic uh, garnish. Love the pineapple. Uh, this coaster I love, uh, I can't remember where I bought it, but it's actually got uh, bits of cinnamon in it. So once it gets a bit wet, you get some of that smell. Mm. Drink them all night. I know they might be a little bit retro, but um, in a hot, hot weather, you're gonna love uh, a pina colada, just those coconuts uh, halfway through. So just finished two, so that's good that the coconut and the pineapple flavors uh, with the rum to come through. So that's the margarita, pina colada. Next, the frosé. So frosé, uh, it's frozen rosé wine. As I said, it was um, a cocktail that came about very recently, the last few years, that has become popular. Um, and well, now there are so many different variants of it, well, obviously all using uh, frosé, but it's uh, frozen rosé, but does it have vermouth or strawberry? It's now become a category of its own. So feel free to play around uh, with the ingredients. So obviously you need a bit of preparation to freeze. Um, your ice blocks. So I've used uh, this uh, and frozen. What was quite good about using this is uh, I worked out how much wine was in each ice cube. I think half my ice tray uh, was half a bottle of wine, which was which was nice. So uh, each one of these cubes is about 40 ml uh, wine. So if I use five, that's 200 ml of wine. Uh, so a large glass of wine uh, in terms of alcohol. Always be aware of how much you're drinking uh, with the drink. So it's going to be for my my frozen. Another blended drink. And you don't need as much crushed ice if you've got the frozen rosé. Uh, still a little bit if you've got the ice. Just helps break it down uh, in there. So I've got five cubes. I'm using mine are quite big, 40 ml each of the frozen rosé, uh, of which I'm using a, a white Zinfandel, uh, which is quite sweet. But I, I love the white Zinfandel flavors. Uh, then I'm going to do one part passion fruit. Love the smell of passion fruit purple passion fruit that we got coming in. So one part of the passion fruit, uh, one part lime. Uh, if you wanted a slightly stronger drink, you could add one part vodka, give it a bit of a, a boost. 25 now is good. Obviously you don't have to do that, the lower ABV drink without the vodka, and then another scoop of ice. help it along. I've chosen a large wine glass. The right consistency and texture is all down to your, your ice, obviously. So it is good to prepare and get lots of crushed ice. Uh, let's get a nice strawberry going on. Back to the frozen margarita, frozen pina colada, uh, a frosé, uh, and last of all it's going to be the, the daiquiri. So daiquiri, very classic, it's just rum, uh, lime uh, and sugar, uh, but I'm going to use paragon. Paragon is a, uh, a luxury cordial uh, with single pepper flavors to come through. So we've got the rhubarb, the Timor berry, uh, and the white penger. So I started working with uh, Paragon uh, in January. I was gonna, as it's a new product, I was gonna do some tasting uh, with bartenders and my friend, all the good bars. So I got the bottles and I got the berries. So the rhubarb from Ethiopia. I mean, most people know, well, I'm saying berries, but they're actually peppers. Um, mostly when you think of pepper, you think of black pepper. There's over 2,000 types of pepper. Uh, and in here I had a set of glassware. Uh, some pins. Big fan for the pell pins in the industry. 
We even have some of the, um, the gluconic acid. Um, as I said, it's a cordial, so you've got sweet and sour. The sweetness from the Monin Magic, uh, and then the sour from the gluconic acid. A uh, little bit of citrus, just to balance it. Citric acid. Very, very sour. Um, but a unique flavor uh, with the, the peppers, so you get the white penja. Mm, very unique uh, berries from Cameroon. Uh, the tea port, the Timor berry from Nepal. Now, if you ever tried um, the buzz button or the Szechuan button, um, which is a flower which gives you a big like electric tingle uh, on your tongue, it's related. So it has a little bit of that buzz, the Timor berry from Nepal, uh, and the rue berry, which is what I'm going to use uh, in my daiquiri. Uh, these, mm, these peppers are from Ethiopia. So you get the. Timor, white penja, and the rhubarb. Great. Scoop of ice. Two parts rum. One, two. One part paragon. Get the sweet and the sour. I am gonna add in a little dash of extra lime. Some of, that, some of that fresh citrus. And then frozen strawberries. So get some really nice strawberries, chop them up, freeze them, and another scoop of ice. So four frozen cocktails. Well, strangely enough, I meant to garnish that one uh, the frosé, because it's a passion fruit puree, with the, um, with the fresh passion fruit. So I'm going to switch around these garnishes, if I may. I'm uh, going to take that one out. I'm going to place that one here. Still got my cut, so i got my strawberries in there. So, in backwards in motion, that was the frozen daiquiri. So I used rum, uh, I used paragon, the rhubarb, uh, a squeeze of lime, and the frozen strawberries. Put the frosé, so I had five cubes of frozen rosé, on part the Monin passion fruit puree, lime, shot of vodka, uh, and lots of ice, obviously. Put the pina colada, um, rum, pineapple uh, from Monin's puree, and Coco Lopez. Still looking great. I mean, that's a good thing about frozen cocktails. I've got four beautiful looking drinks here. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy these very much tonight. Uh, why not join me? Uh, enjoying these uh, four, so I hope you've enjoyed watching. I'm Kenji from my cocktail kitchen. I'll see you. Cheers, Kenji.